Hello friends, welcome back to Factory I Tutorials and in this lesson we are going to learn counters in Control IO. So let's begin. So let's create a new project. And uh, here we have to create a simple mechanic system in order to learn counters. So here I take a simple 6 meter conveyor and also a 2 meter conveyor okay so we have to count boxes that will run above these conveyors so we need boxes and multiple boxes so for that i take this emitter and place it on the 2 meter conveyor Okay, so now I place remover at the end of the conveyor that will remove the boxes. Okay, so we have place emitter and the remover. Now we have to connect two push buttons, one for the to turn on this whole process and second one to reset the counter. So I take two push buttons and these are start push buttons. Okay, so we have attached two push buttons and uh, now I will connect a reflective sensor that will sense the boxes and will count the number of boxes that have been passed through it. So here we have retro reflective sensor.
and also i have to connect a reflector because this sensor is normally on in its normal condition and when any box come between its sensing area it counts the box Okay, so now at the last we have to connect these both conveyors together. Okay, so now let's create a simple logic in control IO and uh, I go to drivers and turn on this control IO. okay so first of all go to function blocks and here we have counters and we will take counter up we have also counter down and the function of both the timer is almost same that it counts in the increment and the other one counts in decrement which means that we have already have five boxes on the conveyor and we have to release all of them and it will count 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 like this and counter up counts like in increment like 1, 2, 3, 4 so in this project we are going to study this counter up so now what we have to do we have to turn on this whole system through a push button so in the text we have this first start push button and what we have to do we have to latch or we can say set the both the conveyors so for that i go to function blocks again and type sr which means set reset and we need two set reset functions the reason behind it i will tell you later So here I connect the set bit of both the functions with this start push button and the out with the first conveyor and the second conveyor that is 6 meter. So I connect the first set output with the 2 meter conveyor and second set reset function output with the second conveyor okay so now i will take this reflective sensor which i have already attached to the conveyor in the factory io and as i have already told that this reflective sensor is normally on in its normal condition and when any box come between its sensing area it turns off so for that we need a not function which means that when this sensor is on the output is off and when this sensor is off the output is on and it will send a signal to the counter okay so now i will connect this preset value with the numerical in the sources to give the amount to the counter that how many boxes it will count so I replace this 0 with 5 and uh, I have to also reset this counter and for that I take the second push button and uh, attach it with the reset bit of this counter and uh, what we have to do now we have to connect this current value bit with the integer 
in the memories we have this integer and I connect it with the current value bit of this counter and what we have to do that after counting five boxes it will reset the two meter conveyor that is first conveyor and uh, when I press the second push button it will also reset the six meter conveyor that is the big one so here we have them and uh, this is a simple logic so let's run this logic okay so when I press the first push button the whole system starts and it start counting as you can see over here here we have that it counts the third box and after counting the fifth box the conveyor is stopped as you can see over here okay so when I press the second push button the counter is reset and the second conveyor that is the big one is also reset and when I press the first push button again the whole process start again okay so i hope you have understood and uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching